wanting to get you to see the dermatologist. I'd like to get a bit of an assessment of the psoriasis. I just think that it's it's if it flares up and you don't know, some people will come in with psoriasis and they'll say, it flares up when A, B, C, and mm -hmm. that's fine. We can manage, we can control some things. If you don't know what causes the flares, mm -hmm. we, the interferon will, for a start, mm -hmm. and we don't want you starting a treatment, getting only a few weeks in and having to stop because of something like psoriasis mm -hmm. that perhaps we could have done something with earlier. What psoriasis? That, um, your skin. Ah, in the yes, skin, yeah. yeah. Skin. yeah. So I think what's a good idea is um, I am trying to work out the best way, because I don't want to have to refer you back to your GP and then back out again. That's it. I want to refer you straight across. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm hanging on to your file um, and going to speak to someone in dermatology here uh -huh. and try and get you an appointment. Ah, that, that was my problem because I was thinking now it will take a few months. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we're going to look at this stuff and say this is not the extent of the side effects. There are many, many more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we look at all this stuff and we say, as a, if you're someone who's having interferon, really, really unlikely you're going to have every single one. What I'm worried about is for you, psoriasis here. Yeah. If you've already got something, the interferon's going to make it worse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And. So right, and you know things like hair loss, for example, which okay, we're not that yeah. worried about you, but no. <laughs> but this doesn't, this is not nice for people, especially for females. It's not nice. Oh yeah, but it's yeah. it's not and, life. And for many males, it's no. a big problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's not life threatening. And when we're looking after you, yeah. it's not nice for you here. But uh, as yeah. practitioners, we're not that worried. Yeah. So uh, the things like that, which means the treatment can become intolerable. And we don't want you to get started uh -huh. and just not be able to cope. Mm. This is about preparing you for for what can happen, and you mm. say, and, and how you can help manage the thing. Say, say that you you're tired all the time and you're not sleeping. Um, some people will come in and they'll say, "Okay, I've organised with um, my neighbour to help to once a week." Yeah. Are you smoking any cigarettes? Uh, yeah, not much, but uh, I'm smoking about 10 a day. Okay. And some, if, if you're feeling stressed and you're feeling, if you're having a mood thing where you're really angry or you're really upset about something, mm -hmm. if you've got something just to go outside and have a cigarette to calm down, that's, even though that's not very good for you, yeah. you know, it might yeah, be yeah, benefit yeah, yeah. something for you. Yeah. Do you smoke any marijuana? Yeah, a bit. That might help a little bit with some yeah. nausea and... And your uh, moods and stuff as well. Just mm -hmm. not skunk. I did talk yeah, about that. Yeah, you told me about that. Just be uh, be aware that even though the, the marijuana can help a bit with nausea and help a bit with sleep, it may affect your moods a bit more. Yeah. So just you need to work out if it's helping or making or it worse. Or making it worse. Yeah. yeah. These things can happen. Um, this is the one that we're worried about. We don't have to stop your treatment because mm. of this. Okay, don't want to have to stop your treatment because of the depression. Yeah. The other things which are not on here, which are really, um, we need to be very, which is why you have blood tests, and they're the things that can stop treatment as well. The interferon um, can affect your white cells. Yeah. You need white cells to clot if you cut yourself, mm -hmm. and you need white cells to fight infection. Mm -hmm.